Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Ford Transit Custom. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2 litre 300 Eco Blue Limited L2 H1 EU6. 2018 on an 18 plate. Has done 28,274 miles. One registered owner. And uh, it was serviced on the 7th of the 2nd 2020 at 18,060 miles. So we have the big uh, gloss black Ford insignia on the front. Looks really good, finishes the, the, the van off. Front parking sensors, power folding door mirrors. Got the side protective mouldings, a side loading door on the passenger side. The multi-spoke black alloy wheels, mud flaps, twin barn doors at the back, reversing sensors. It's got a reversing camera too. It's also got the spoiler at the top of the rear doors and uh, the reinforcement around the driver's door lock. Okay, I'll just take you for a drive. Before we set off, let's just find it. We've got height and reach adjustable uh, steering wheel. Get this on. Just put this mic on up here as well, which I'll no doubt forget to take off and then drop later on. So, Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. Um, the good thing with this is it's got Apple CarPlay, which is better than all your inbuilt sat-navs and everything. If I plug this in like so, let's just see, it should come up. There you go, allow CarPlay with Sync 3, allow and that's it so you, you've got you've got sat nav you can send texts you can just talk to uh, Siri I'll tell you what I am going to do because there's uh, a lot of uh, pheasants on this road and I've just had to pull up quite sharply and uh, I don't want my phone to go flying or anything else to go flying so that's a, that's a handy feature too it's the, the bench seat this falls down you put your cups in it and also your clipboard or, or whatever I'm gonna try not to rustle so much I've got a microphone new microphone system that's not working properly so I've got my old one my new one under here and another back up here um, because it spoiled the, the audio on my video the other day and made a mess complete mess of the video right so back to the Apple CarPlay you can see there if I click that uh, it's showing what's playing or what would play if I turned it up. Let's see, just turn it on. There you go, Marion Faithful playing away there. Trying to spit fire, good to see. We'll stop that. And you've got your sat nav, which again is off the phone. Um, click on there, and you can see there, you play audio books, your messages, um, got WhatsApp, Spotify, you, well, if you have these loaded on your phone, you'll have them. Uh, Audible again. What anyway? What's up there? And you, you can just—you've no need to touch your phone uh, because you can just um, tell Siri what to do, and uh, it will do it for. I'll <laughs> proper handbrake, which I, I like. I probably wouldn't have parked there if it was an electronic handbrake because it's like 50 foot drop. Uh, let's just. Uh, there we go, turn that out there a bit. And we'll just see if it folds in. Yeah, power folding door mirrors. So here we go. Great to drive these. Um, as nice to drive as a lot of cars. Great Ford engine, great Ford gearbox, and a massive carrying capacity. And <coughs> they have all the equipment really of a luxury car. Got cruise control. I, actually, I find, well, I just remember, if I just get over this hill, make sure there's nothing coming over the hill, because Lots of cyclists and motorbikes. Actually, I'll, I'll go further down there. 
Oh look. That camera is really getting on my nerves. Lovely scenery. The uh, full bulkhead in the back here, so nice and warm in the driver's or the passenger's compartment. Got aircon here too. So the sound system's really good if you like music, it's, it's fantastic. Oh, they, they're just parking exactly where I wanted to park. Well, just stop in the middle of the road, why don't you? Okay, well we're off again. I, I just had to uh, stop there because my GoPro, less than a year old, keeps switching itself off, and uh, it uh, it makes me laugh these days because a lot of the new electrical equipment that you buy, you're basically a beta tester because they release it when it's not ready, and then uh, like this microphone here came out less than three weeks ago it's already had two updates because it didn't work they sent it out and it didn't work and what really makes me laugh is that um, yesterday we had a chap shouting because his horn had stopped working on his car and his car's 10 years old and uh, not too long ago I mean we <laughs> it's not like we refused to fix it or anything it, and it's not like we could know it was possibly going to go wrong. We, we fix things if they go wrong. And we had a lady who was in tears because a central door locking motor didn't work in the back. Um, you know, and, and these are these are 10 year old things that break or wear out normally through lack of use. I mean, I can't remember the last time I use my horn, although I might, I might just do it now. Um, and again, the, the door locks, if the door locks aren't being used, the inside ones, nobody's in the back, your windows, anything you don't use that's electric, sooner or later seizes up. So uh, that's kind of why I prefer cars with wind up windows in the back. For me, because I know it's going to cost me less money because what happens is the rear windows don't work. Somebody comes to look at the car, they check everything's working, the back window, if it's not working, they want it replacing, fair enough again. But then they probably never use it. So the next time they come to swap it in, it's not working again. So every time a car's part exchanged, the dealer has to pay for a new back window. I'm gonna I'm gonna let these two uh, fight it out up this hill, and then go up. This poor cyclist. I feel for him. <laughs> we 
you can see driving this transit, it's, it's, it's a pleasure really. And this is a, a lovely thing if you need something for work, but not to like lug stuff about all the time. When you're carrying clean things, then it's, then it's ideal. And it's also ideal this one to turn into a, a caravan, a camper van, caravanet, or whatever you want to call it. It's uh, nice. It's very, very nice in the cabin. The outside is, uh, I think it's magnetic grey, metallic, which is a lovely colour. It's got black alloy wheels. The six-speed box, the air conditioning. Um, the spoiler on the uh, rear doors makes it look a bit A-team-ish oh dear but it's, it's something that you could jump in and drive a lot of miles and be very very comfortable and enjoy the drive too and especially the way things are going with the the vaccination passports and not being able to go on holiday and all that business ideal to be able to get a, a camper van it's something i've been wanting to do for a long time do the uh, a500 is it the scottish the route round Scotland, which looks absolutely beautiful. And of course you'd want to be taking your time, so um, I'm not sure I'd want to be staying in a hotel with other people, so if you've got a, a camper van, absolutely ideal. And when you think about it, the price of a holiday, four holidays, and you, you'd have paid for this. and you've still got your van. Beautiful Ford gearboxes. I have to say it's uh, the the Transit is probably my favourite van. Drives more like a car. Doesn't feel kind of front wheely as if it's been pulled along. Um, feels balanced, slightly better than other vans. Only thinking about that really for you know for the from the camper van aspect. Definitely the gearbox is, is definitely way, way better than uh, other vans. The suspension's good too. And again, a lovely part of uh, Lancashire. This is um, the road through to Dunsop Bridge from uh, Scorton, I think it is. People keep asking me where it is. The vehicles look so much better when I photograph them out here. But it takes me about an hour to get here, and when I get here, the, the van is all covered in, or the whatever I'm in is all covered in mud, which uh, kind of defeats the object, but if you can bear in mind that 
underneath to spray up the side. This is a very, very clean van. In the back, I will tell you, it has belonged to a smart repairer. And uh, he's obviously just tested his gun a few times. So there's a little bit of spray on the panels, but it's in the back, you can't see it. If it bothered you that much, it could be sanded off. or new ply lining. But as I say, more than likely, somebody will buy this who wants to convert it to a camper van and all that will be taken out. We hate wasting money. And, uh, you know, the, there's no point in us doing it. It's just a waste of money. There's no point in us putting brand new plywood in or even doing the work. If somebody's gonna rip it all out. we're far too busy at the moment. Um, let's say here, the only, the only thing at the moment is that uh, we're way, way out in the country and I'm not sure what the reception's like, but I'll, I'll just try it. As I say, I'm using the sat nav off my phone. Hey Siri. Siri requires an internet connection. Well, that answered my question, didn't it? I've no 4G or 5G. Wait till we get a bit higher. Let's say if I click that. Would you like me to read your messages, compose a new one, or make a call? Read, read messages. And send a fascipum emoji in full crying with laughter emoji. Would you like to reply? No, thank you. Okay, that's everything. So, it'll read your messages out. Um, let me just see if we're high enough now to get a signal. Yeah, we have, we've got 4G there, so. Hey Siri, navigate to Grosvenor Garage, Walt Medell Preston. Still working. That's more than a moment, Siri. Still on it. Simple question. Something went wrong. Please try again. Hey Siri, navigate to Grosvenor Garage, Preston. On it. Still working. Sorry, something went wrong. Please try again. Hey Siri, do I need to replace you with an Android phone? Sorry, something went wrong. Please try again in a moment. We've no, uh, again, we've, we've no internet here. But it, it'd be the same with your, your sat-nav. The sat-nav won't pick the signal up either, no doubt. There we go, I love this part of the country.
it's an absolute, it's a joy to drive. And it's a lovely van. But having said that, it's a, I'm trying to remember, it's, it's not that old. Right, we've got some, we've got some signal here. Hey Siri, navigate to Piazza Tazzo, Sorrento. Getting directions to Sorrento, Italy. Now there you go. All I have to do is click go there and it tells me how to get to Sorrento. Starting route, Sorrento. But he couldn't find Grosvenor Garage. <laughs> I, I'm not saying the system's perfect and you perhaps have to say the postcode. Hey Siri, navigate, navigate to PR5 4JS. Getting directions to Preston PR5 4JS. So I just have to say, because I was already on my way to Sorrento, but uh, there you go. So all you do is click Starting go. PR5 4JS. It, it struggles to recognise my voice, my accent, for some reason. Um, but, but it works. You don't have to stop. You don't have to take your hands off the steering wheel. You don't have to do anything illegal. You just have to persevere with your elocution. The uh, rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Hey Siri, text Gordon. What do you want to say? Just test in the car, Gordon. Don't reply. Your message to Gordon says, just testing the car, Gordon, no reply. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, it's sent. So, <laughs> the Apple CarPlay is a great system. So long as you weren't born in Manchester. Keep right onto Trot Road. Okay, well, it's a lovely van. I'm going to uh, finish the test drive there. And uh, I shall see you in the... Turn right onto Oakley Club Road. No, whatever, you, whatever you do, don't stop. I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> Um, we've got a couple of great vehicles coming up, Mini, Countryman I think, automatic, uh, lovely thing, lovely colour combination and uh, tomorrow we um, should have a Porsche Cayman, a value for money Porsche Cayman, nice vehicle, looking forward to doing that.